Hi everyone, welcome to the Abbey Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on electrochemistry. Particularly, we are going to discuss about uh, like an uh, electrochemical cells. Now, today we are going to discuss the, now the classification of electrochemical cells and how many type of electrochemical cells are there. So, what are the like a representation and uh, their notation as well as a detailed analysis on those cells. Okay. So now let us go through the like a basic concept. Now, the first of all, electrochemical cells. Electrochemical cells. So cells are nothing but batteries. Simply it is batteries like TV remote batteries or uh, like uh, phone batteries, watch batteries, etc. Different different types of batteries are there. Okay. Now let us go through the electrochemical cell. So simply electrochemistry which defines uh, now the conversion of uh, electrical energy to uh, chemical energy or chemical energy converted into uh, electrical energy okay so simply uh, electrical energy can convert it into chemical energy or chemical energy can convert it to e electrical energy so mainly based on the conversion of electrical to chemical chemical to electrical so we are deal with those type of all those type of uh, chemistry we as a electrochemistry as a electrochemistry so first of all we are going to discuss the, like a uh, classification of electrochemical cells now here the Electrochemical cells are mainly classified as two types. Here it is the three classifications are there, but we are discussing about very basic concept. So that's why, so here it is mainly classified as an electrolytic cell and a galvanic cell or voltaic cells or Daniel cells. All are same. Okay, so here electrochemical cells are classified mainly these two types electrolytic cells, galvanic or voltaic or Daniel cells. Okay, so now, so first of all, electrolytic cells. So now here, electrolytic cells here, electrical energy can convert it into chemical energy. So now in this case, chemical energy can convert it into electrical energy. Electrical energy. This is the major, major differentiation between the electrolytic as well as galvanic or voltaic or Daniel cell. All are the same. Okay, so now the uh, same type of model. So now let us go through the, like an electro electrolytic cell representation so here it is the in a vessel so in a vessel we will put the two types of uh, electrical rods two electrical rods so those electrical rods as called as uh, like electrodes those electrical rods are electrodes so now in this vessel we will fill with some of the like uh, some of the solution that solution is called electrolyte that solution is called an electrolyte the electrolyte okay so now here two electrodes are there a two electrodes which are dipped in like an electrolytic solution so all the content the, the, all the content is called an electrochemical cell electrochemical cell now here uh, the one of the cell is positive and an, another cell is a negative end okay so now here one of the cell is nothing but an anodic compartment so one uh, anode one of the electrode is called as anode so another one is called as cathode anode as well as cathode. Now here the representation of anode and cathode at the electrolytical cell. So here anode is shown by the positive charge. Cathode is shown by the negative charge. Here uh, quite uh, opposite was. Why? Because here it is called as cathode. Cathode means cations. That means uh, always a uh, positive charge. But here it is represented as a negative charge. Here it represents the positive charge. Why? Because here it obstruct the cations. That's why it is called as cathode. Okay. So now the rod, uh, the electrical rod, which is dipped in the electrolytic solution, which obstruct the cations. That's why it is called as cathode. So whenever it obstruct the cation, that means here it is the negative charge. Then only it obstruct the cation. So that's why it is called as cathode. Here it obstruct the anions. So whenever it is uh, obstruct the anions, now here whenever it is a positive charge, then only it obstruct the pro, uh, it obstruct the like a negative charges anions. That's why it is called as anode. This is the simplest representation of an electrolytic cell. Now let us uh, uh, discuss the uh, one example. So that is uh, so here the electrolytic solution is molten NaCl. Molten NaCl sodium chloride. 
So here electrolytic solution, let us assume here it is the molten NaCl. So whenever electricity passes through an electrochem electrochemical series, now electrochemical cell, so now here the, it produces sodium and chlorine gases, sodium and chlorine gases. This is the simplest representation of a reaction, sodium as well as chlorine gases, sodium as well as chlorine gases. Now what will happen? So in case of uh, like an uh, electrolytic cell, whenever we will uh, we will supply the, some electricity through the in a particular electrolytic cell, here it produces uh, sodium as well as sodium and chlorine gases at the different electrodes at the different particular electrodes now let us uh, discuss the detailed analysis on that so simply here it is uh, uh, na plus and cl minus the ions of uh, sodium chloride in the in case of uh, like uh, these type of electrochemical reactions uh, here always uh, like uh, electrolyte having the electrovalent bond Electrolyte always having the electrovalent bond. That means uh, here it is the ionic bond. Electrovalent is nothing but ionic bond. So that's why ions are liberated. So okay. Now here Na plus and Cl minus are there. So Na plus will abstract, will gain the electrons, will gain the electrons and it forms the sodium. Will gain the electron and it forms the sodium. Now however, Cl minus, Cl minus here it lost the electrons and it forms the Cl2 gases. So Cl2 means uh, we require two moles of chlorides. So now two moles of chloride. So negative means two electrons. So here two moles of chloride, that means two negative charges, that means four electrons. Among the four electrons, two electrons are uh, involved in the bond formation between the chlorine and the chlorine. The remaining two electrons are eliminated. That means a loss of two electrons, loss of two electrons. So electrical neutrality, here we use two moles of sodium. So two moles of uh, electrons gains, then it forms the two moles of sodium. So this is the electrical neutrality. So here it is the overall reaction is two moles of Na plus will treat it with two moles of chlorides. Then it gives the like a two Na plus Cl2. Two Na plus Cl2. Now here two electrodes are the present. So which electrode occurs at a, a oxidation reaction and which electrode at which electrode occurs on reduction reaction. So we know that uh, the definition of oxidation and reduction. So oxidation as well as a reduction. So here addition of oxygen, that is the like a uh, very organic uh, definitions of oxidation and reduction. Addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen is nothing but oxidation. Quite opposite is nothing but uh, reduction. Now in this case of electrochemical series, uh, oxidation state increases oxidation. Oxidation state decreases also ox uh, reduction. So oxidation state increases oxidation. Oxidation state decreases, that is nothing but reduction. Now the second case, now the second case. So loss of electrons or oxidation. So gain of electrons or reduction, gain of electrons or reduction. So with the help of these formulae, so here it gains the electron, sodium cation, it gains the electron. So then it means gain of electrons is the reduction. So here it is the reduction. Okay, now here sodium, two moles of chlorides, it releases their electrons, it releases its own electrons. That's why here oxidation occurs, oxidation occurs okay now always a reduction always at cathode oxidation always at anode so simply like a anode oxidation anode oxidation like a cathode reduction cathode reduction okay so now here it at cathode at anode at anode so here it is the anode, so at the anode chlorine gas is liberated, at cathode sodium metal is deposited, sodium metal is deposited. So here it is the half cell of the reaction, half of the cell of the reaction, that means half cell of a reduction, here it is the half cell of oxidation. So simply it is called as a reduction of cell, oxidation of cell, okay, or left hand half cell, right hand half cell, those type of reaction. So this is the simplest representation and example about electrolytic cell electrolytic cell. Here it is the like a uh, negative charge is anode is positive charge, cathode is a negative charge. Please remember it. Okay. Now here electrical energy can convert it into chemical energy. Again, so now here two electrodes, both electrodes are inert electrodes. They, do, they did not uh, involved in the reaction, like electrochemical reaction or redox reaction. Now here oxidation and reduction, both will take place, then it is called redox reaction. So here electrodes are inert electrodes. Here electrolyte can produce the both the like uh, oxidation product and a reduction product. Oxidation as well as a a reduction product. Here it is the overall reaction, overall reaction representation. Okay, now let us discuss the another thing that is galvanic cell or voltaic cell.
okay now we will discuss about uh, like galvanic or voltaic cells galvanic or voltaic cells simply it is nothing but daniel cells all are these like uh, example of uh, galvanic cells okay now here in case of galvanic cells so we are assumed uh, like it, it is an abasive it is a vessel okay now again it is the another vessel so this is the two different half cells now here which is uh, placed in the in a rod that is electrode here also we will dip the some of the electrode so here in this case it is filled by the zinc sulfate electrolyte so here the solution is a zinc sulfate here the solution is copper sulfate here the solution is copper sulfate in zinc sulfate solution we immerse the or we dip the zinc rod that is zinc electrode in case of copper sulfate solution we dip the copper rod okay these two rods are connected to the uh, wire these two rods are connected to the uh, wire okay this is the a simplest representation of a, like an a, a electrochemical that is a galvanic type of cell or voltaic cells whatever it may be either it is a daniel cell all are the same okay so here it is the simplest representation now in case here it is the left hand side is zinc sulfate solution right hand side is copper sulfate solution here we observed two half cells two cells uh, whether it is half cell or a full cell we don't know so let us go through the like our final conclusion okay now here in zinc sulfate solution copper sulfate solution that means here it produces zinc plus two ions in case in these electrolyte here it is having the copper plus two type of solution okay now left hand side always it is anode so right side right hand side always it is cathode so we are already discussed anode oxidation cathode reduction anode oxidation cathode reduction so simply anode oxidation means uh, here it is a loss of electrons whenever so here uh, we will supply the, these these two electrical uh, we are connected to the we are connected these two electrodes with a wire then following observations are available the following observations are made up okay the first observation so whenever the electricity passed through an electro electrochemical cell so now here zinc is an anode so anode uh, always oxidation takes place that's why here zinc rod releases its electron that means uh, zinc can releases its electron then it forms the zinc plus two cation now here zinc plus two cations are available zinc plus two cations are available okay so now here these electrons traveled through the avaya these electrons traveled through the avaya now here it is a uh, like uh, these electrons gained by our copper uh, gained by our copper plus 2 solution so now here the copper plus 2 which gains the electron then it forms the copper metal then it forms the copper metal so now here it is the copper sulfate solution the copper sulfate solution will become copper metal that means uh, here the copper metal will coated the like this type of quotation okay it it coated it coated uh, like uh, uh, surrounded the like a uh, like a uh, surrounding things of the our cathode okay now here cathode so cathode deposit of deposition takes place here it is the liberation takes place here it is the liberation takes place now let us observe so here zinc it closes the electrons and it releases the cations now here let us assume here these and uh, these uh, anode is made up of uh, like a hundred molecules of zinc so if zinc lost their electrons if zinc metal can lose their two electrons and it releases one zinc plus two cation that means uh, among the 100 molecules one molecule is left out then that means uh, uh, like 99 molecules are left out one molecule is released one molecule is released so whenever we will pass the some of the electricity a certain time so here the zinc metal size will be reduced why because here the zinc metals lose their electrons and it releases the cations that's why zinc metal size will be reduced zinc metal size will zinc metal size will reduce okay now here but the copper metal size will be more that means uh, here the coat, uh, coating of uh, this copper metal then here it is coated like that it is coated like that okay now here it's having the one of the drawback now uh, later on uh, i'll discuss the those drawback 
Okay. Now, what are the observations observed in case of electricity passed through the Daniel cell? Okay. Now, here the first observation. So, zinc rod size will be less. Will be less. So, while copper rod size increased. Copper rod size increased. Copper rod size increased. Now, here. It is a copper a zinc sulfate solution that means here it having the Zn plus 2 as well as SO4 minus 2 solution. So whenever electricity passed through a particular electrochemical cell, here it releases the electrons along with cations. Okay, zinc metal, it is a zinc metal, it is the solution. Solution means like an uh, electrolytic solution which are uh, dissolved in some of the like uh, solvents. Okay, now here it is the solution. Whenever we will dip the electrode in a like a particular left hand side anodic uh, electrolytic cell. Now here zinc can reduces, uh, zinc can converts uh, like a uh, zinc plus 2 along with the elimination of two electrons. Those electrons traveled through a wire, but uh, zinc cation uh, will appear so here only. That means uh, here already zinc plus 2 is there. Whenever the zinc plus 2 quantity will be more and more at anode, that means uh, electricity passed through an electrochemical cell, uh, the concentration of uh, zinc sulfate, the concentration of anodic, anodic electrolytic solution will be more. Okay, that is the second observation. The concentration of the concentration at the anodic off cell. We have discussed about uh, off cell. Well, now I will give the complete definition about off cell. La anodic off cell while reduces the concentration at the anodic off cell increases while cathodic off cell cathodic off cell decreases. Why? Because here the, uh, the copper plus 2 ions at present in the right hand side, right hand electrolyte. So here reduces and it converts into the copper metal, those copper metal, like uh, those copper metal coated on the like uh, cathode, coated on the cathode. Okay. Now the third observation. Now here. It loses the electron at the zinc sulfate solution, that means left hand side, it gains the electrons. Now here the transfer of electrons we observed, that means uh, the remaining thing, uh, the remaining electron, electronically it is neutralized, it is neutralized. So both the compartments, uh, both the compartments, electrically neutral, electrically neutral, that is the third observation. Okay, now here let us discuss the, these two cells. And now here it is the complete electrochemical cell that is nothing but voltaic or galvanic cell. Okay, now here it is the galvanic cell. So left part that is let us assume here it is the not the left side that uh, cannot break with these uh, electrochemical cell. So the left side of the electrode then simply it is called as left hand side electrode LHE. Now the, this is called right hand side electrode. RHE. Okay, left hand side electrode is nothing but anode. The right hand side electrode is nothing but cathode. So we are already discussed the anode means oxidation. So here it is the second point. Anode means anode. Always it occurs oxidation at anode. So reduction at cathode. So each and every electrochemical reaction it is nothing but a redox reaction. So here in case of galvanic cell it is like indirect reduction method. Indirect reduction method. So now here oxidation means here the loss of electrons. Why? Because why it is confirmed as a oxidation reaction? Here the loss of electron absorbed. Here the gain of electron, gain of electrons. That means uh, the zinc size, zinc rod will be reduced. Zinc rod, I think uh, I discussed over there. I don't, don't, we don't need to discuss the like second time. Okay, this is the observation we observed in case of uh, electrochemical cell. Now let us discuss the these electrochemical reaction. These electrochemical reaction. So now here, the first step. So at the left hand side, left hand side. Here it is the half of the cell that is the left hand side of shell or anodic of cell or like a oxidation of cell. So here the three names are there. So left hand side of cell, left hand side of cell or anodic of cell or oxidation of cell, oxidation of cell. So simply here also three names that is right hand side of cell, cathodic of cell, Reduction of cell, reduction of cell, three names, quite opposite names. Now here, at the left hand of cell, here the zinc metal lost their electrons, 
and it forms the like a zinc plus 2 as a cation zinc plus 2 as a cation now the rhe or reduction of cell so this is simply cathodic of cell so here the copper plus 2 it gains the two electrons uh, and it forms the copper so the overall reaction is uh, two electrons two electrons are cancelled now zinc plus copper plus 2 zinc plus copper plus 2 will use the like a uh, zinc plus 2 plus copper zinc plus 2 plus copper here like a zinc 2 zinc plus 2 oxidation state increases it is oxidation reaction so copper plus 2 copper it is a reduction reaction simple representation or simple uh, recognition of the oxidation and uh, uh, like reduction reactions in case of uh, electrochemical reaction okay now this is the simplest thing we observed in case of uh, electrochemical cell but here it is one drawback is there now let us discuss the those drawback of uh, like uh, this wire method Okay, and now the drawback is drawback of this uh, wire method connection. Okay, so now here electrons. Uh, you now, yeah, whenever the electricity is passing through the uh, certain uh, like this type of electrochemical cell, so electrons uh, can move from the like a uh, left hand side compartment to right hand side compartment. That means uh, here electrons traveled traveled to right compartment uh, and the cations left over here. So electrons transferred or transferred to right compartment, right compartment, and cations left at left compartment, at the left hand compartment, or simply left hand compartment. Quite oppositely. So here the electrons gain gains. Uh, electrons gains at right compartment right compartment so here the electrons uh, electrons transferred from left to right now here it gain uh, gaining of the electron here the cations are, are more and more here the our cationic solution will becomes the like a neutral cationic solution that means uh, here the more and more negative charges more number of negative charges so it gaining of electron is will use the more number of negative charges more number of negative charges the loss of electrons will give the like more number of positive charges more positive charges so here the more number of negative charges here the electrons the increasing of the more number of negative charges now the further electrons cannot move over here so the electronic electronic repulsions occurred here again the releasing of electrons the flowing of electrons are also like a, it is a problem with a, like a transfer of electrons from one compartment to one compa another compartment okay now here the transfer of electrons whenever instantaneously will stop the like a circuit like electrical circuit then here uh, like a problems are observed in case of uh, like electronic electronic repulsion at the right hand side compartment uh, or the like a uh, more number of cationic uh, cationic uh, species available in left hand side compartment so this is the problem so this problem the solution of the above problem is so that means here the traveling of electrons is a uh, difficult in case of uh, like a wire method the traveling of electrons from left compartment to right compartment is difficult due to the like a more and uh, more negative charge at the right hand side compartment more positive charge at the left hand side compartment so the solution of the this problem is nothing but a salt bridge the solution of this problem is a salt bridge so whenever these these like uh, these type of electrical method we used that so whenever we used the like an a u type bend so here u type tube simply it is a u tube so not youtube okay so here it is not the watching videos of the youtube so here u type bend u type tube okay so here in case in u type tube we use the like a uh, neutral solutions of uh, like a kcl nacl or nh4cl kno3 or k2so4 okay like those type of agar agar gels 
these type of solutions are used. I don't want to discuss the completely detailed analysis on salt bridge. Uh, I'll make the another video on the salt bridge. Okay. So theoretical questions are many of the theoretical questions are asked in uh, based on the salt bridge salt bridge method. Okay. That's why I'll make the another video separate video. Okay. Now here, what is the advantage of salt bridge? Now we have the problem with uh, these uh, electrical method. Whenever we use the like a uh, salt bridge, that means uh, here it allows the it allows the ions from one compartment to one compartment to another compartment another compartment okay now whenever the ions are uh, traveling from one compartment to another compartment uh, so here the more number of ions will shift to the like here that means uh, here the less number of ions are there so those ions can convert it into metal that's why here it is the less number of ions uh, available so here more number of ions are available so those more uh, more number of ions and less number of ions uh, they, they maintain the electrical neutrality with the help of salt bridge so whenever we use the salt bridge here it maintains it it maintains the electrical neutrality electrical neutrality that's why we use the u type bend that is nothing but salt bridge that is nothing but salt bridge so whenever we use the salt bridge the daniel or voltaic cells are uh, like a more efficient more efficient this is the simplest uh, like uh, things regarding to the electrochemical cells okay now we have discussed the like electrolytic as well as galvanic cells okay now if it is possible I will explain the major differentiation between the electrolytic as well as galvanic cells. Okay, now we will discuss the classification, like a differentiation, major differentiation between the electrolytic and the uh, galvanic cells. Okay, now here it is the electrolytic cell, electrolytic cell, sorry, electrolytic cell, and here it is the galvanic or voltaic cells, galvanic or voltaic cells. Okay, now the first point, here it is the electrical energy can convert it into chemical energy. So that is the major difference. Now here the chemical energy can convert it into electrical energy. Okay. So now in case of a previous example we have discussed. That means uh, chemical compounds can convert it into like uh, our, our uh, that is uh, electrical compounds. Okay. Now here second problem. Second one is. So in case of anode cathode signs. Anode and cathode signs. So here. The anode, in case of the electrolytic cell, here it obstructs the anions. That's why here it is the cathode, uh, like a positive sign. Here it is the negative sign. So quite opposite is the galvanic cells. So anode, here it is the negative charge. Cathode, here it is the positive charge. So without the concept, we don't remember these type of uh, representations. This is the electrode representations. Now the third point. So here. At both the electrodes, at both the electrodes, ions are discharged. Ions are discharged. But here, ions discharged, discharged at cathode compartment, cathode electrode only, at a cathode only. Now again, so on passing the electricity, on applying the electricity, here the electrolyte concentration. So here only only one compartment is there. Those compartment whenever we will apply the uh, like uh, electricity. So those compartment those solution will become the like a uh, uh, cathodic compound and the anodic compound. That's why here the concentration of those electrolyte is will be less. So electrolyte concentration decreases when electricity is applied. Electricity is applied. Okay, now the fourth point. So when electricity is applied, when electricity is applied, anodic of cell concentration increases. Anodic of cell concentration increases while 
cathodic off-cell concentration decreases. I think I will give the complete explanation about these concentration increases and decreases. Cathodic off-cell concentration decreases. Now the fifth and the major one is all the atoms, simply all the uh, two electrodes present in the same compartment, in the same compartment. Now here the two electrodes present in, electrodes are present in different compartments. The electrodes are present in different compartments, different, present in different compartments. So these are the major differentiations between the electrolytic and galvanic cell. First one is electrical energy converted into the chemical energy. Here chemical energy can convert it into electric energy. Here the signs of anode is positive and cathode is negative. Here the quite opposite. Anode is negative, cathode is positive. So here both the electrodes and both the electrodes ions are discharged. Here ions are discharged at cathode only. So whenever the electricity is passed, the electrolytic concentration will be reduced. Here the anodic oxyl concentration increases, uh, cathodic oxyl concentration decreases. Two electrodes present in the same compartment. Here the electro electrodes are present in different different compartments. So these are the major differentiation. Now let us discuss the like um, representation of uh, electrochemical cells. Representation of uh, electrochemical cells. Now let us discuss the representation of electrochemical cells. Representation of electrochemical cells. Electrochemical cells. So simply, here the first rule of the representation of electrochemical cell is, so first write the, like a anodic of cell, anodic of cell at left and cathodic of cell cathodic oxyl at right at right now the second point is so electrode emf value right at right at right side of the right side of the like a electrochemical representation right side of the representation so we have discussed in our previous example. So that is in a, like a galvanic cell. So here it is this outer bridge, left hand side, right hand side electrodes. So here it is the electrolytic solution. Okay. So left side is a zinc sulfate solution, right side is copper sulfate solution. So here it is the copper rod, here it is the zinc rod. Okay. Now how it is represent these type of electrochemical cells in a single row? Okay, so the first of all, according to them, anodic half cell is left side. So here it is the anodic half cell. So anodic half cell, that means uh, here zinc can convert into zinc plus 2. Zinc can convert into zinc plus 2. That means uh, zinc metal, the first of all, metal. So the simplest, simplest representation. So after we represent the simplest manner. So the first of all, it is a metal. Okay, now anodic half cell means it is oxidation, always it is oxidation. So oxidation means uh, metal can convert it into metal plus, uh, plus any number of cations and uh, any number of electrons. So that means uh, metal can convert it into cation of metal, n, n number of cations of n nth oxidation state of metal cation. Okay, so that means uh, here the these arrow it represented as a single symbol and it forms the m plus n and it forms the m plus n. Now here it is uh, separated by the salt bridge uh, with uh, like a porous plates. Now these uh, salt bridge can be represented by the like a double slashes, double slashes. So these double slashes is nothing but salt bridge. Here it is the double slashes is nothing but a salt bridge. Now let us uh, write the like a cathodic half cell at a right position. Cathodic half cell means here the copper plus copper plus two solution. That means uh, the uh, m plus n is present. Those m plus n will gains the electrons uh, and it forms the metal simplest metal. Okay. Now here it is the m plus n can convert it into m. So here m plus n single arrow represented as a single slash and it forms the metal and it forms the metal okay now here among the among the four which is a solution and which is a solid so now here it is an electrolyte zinc sulfate is an electrolyte that means uh, here plus n zinc plus two that means uh, m plus n is a solution that means it is an aqueous compound 
Now here metal is a rod, that's why here it is the solid. So in similar way here it is the solution, uh, it is the solid. Okay, sometimes they are given in the, like a particular concentration of the solution. Now here also sometimes they are given in the particular concentration of the solution. Okay, now the, with the help of this representation, now we, okay, now, so we'll represent the, those EMF value over here. So the EMF means electromotive force, we don't know the electromotive force, so after getting the, these values, we will calculate the EMF value very soon, okay. Now here, so our Daniel cell can represent the left hand, first of all, anodic oxyl, so anodic oxyl means zinc can convert it into zinc plus 2. So anodic means oxidation state. So now here zinc 0 to plus 2. If increasing the oxidation state, that is oxidation reaction. Oxidation always at a anode. Oxidation always at a anode. Now here it is the like a salt beige. Now again a copper plus 2 can convert it into copper. So here highest number of oxidation state can convert it into lowest number of oxidation state. That is the like a reduction reaction. Okay. Now here zinc plus 2. The aqua solution. Here it is the aqua solution. Here it is the solid, here it is the solid. So these type of examples can convert it into an, uh, like uh, off cell reactions. Now zinc can convert it into zinc plus 2, here the loss of 2 electrons. Here copper plus 2 gain of 2 electrons will give the copper. So overall reaction is zinc plus copper plus 2 will give rise to copper and zinc plus 2. Copper and zinc plus 2. So this is the first example. Now let us discuss the second example. So if nickel, like uh, this type of examples, so nickel plus 2 can convert it into nickel. Okay, again in similarly, nickel and similarly, Ag plus can convert it into Ag. Ag plus can convert it into Ag. Here it is the nickel can convert it into nickel plus. I'll give the like a cell representation. So with the help of cell representation, you can uh, like, uh, let us imagine yourself, let us assume yourself, you can write the, these type of off cell reactions. Okay, first of all, it is left hand side, that is the anodic off cell, here it is the cathodic off cell. Okay, now let us write the anodic off cell reaction. So anodic off cell means uh, nickel, it, it lost their electrons and it forms the nickel plus two and it loses two electrons. Again, silver, cation, it gains the electron, it forms the silver metal, it forms the silver metal. Now the major problem is, here two electrons are lost, now we will get the only one electron. That means uh, here it requires the, some mathematical calculation. So we maintain the electrical neutrality, so here the gaining of electron also need for the two electrons. So that's why here we will uh, multiply it with the bottom equation with two, that means here two Ag plus two electrons, two Ag. Okay, now here two electrons, two electrons will be cancelled. Nickel plus two Ag plus. So then only our re, our uh, pro, pre, uh, our future problems are uh, verified. Okay, otherwise uh, we we'll, we did the mistake. Two moles of Ag. Okay, so this is the simplest representation of uh, another chemical set. Okay, now let us discuss the some other chemical reaction, chemical representations. Okay, so here it is the like two off cells. So one having the like a the stannous plus two rod and stannous plus four solution. So now again another having the plus three and plus two of rod. Simply this type of reaction. So simply here it is represented as SN plus two can convert it into SN plus four. Here it is the salt bridge. Now again another one is Fe plus three can convert it into Fe plus two. The right side means it is a cathode, that means the reduction takes place. So the reduction means oxidation state decreases. Now here it is anode, oxidation state increases. This is the simplest reaction. Now the off cell reaction is SN plus 2 can lose their two electrons and it forms the SN plus 4. Now again iron plus 3, it gains the, like it gains the two electrons, it gains the one electron, then it forms the iron plus 2. Okay, so now here also we require the multiplication, we require the two electrons, that's why here it is multiplied by the two. So now we will get the two iron plus three plus a stannous plus two can convert it into stannous plus four with two moles of iron plus two. Two moles of 
I then plus two. All the type of reactions which are discussed in our uh, our classes. That means here these three examples are redox reaction. And now uh, we have discussed some some other type of uh, like a redox reaction. That is the uh, now the fourth example. Here copper plus can converted into copper as well as copper plus two. Here only one metal it which can convert it into two types of metals. So copper plus one can increases from plus two. That is oxidation of cell. So copper plus one can reduces the copper zero. That means uh, decreases the oxidation state. It is the reduction reaction. So single component will use the oxidation and reduction products. Uh, those type of reactions are called disproportionation reactions. What is that? Disproportionation reactions. So now we observe these type of disproportionation reactions. Now let us write the these type of re, uh, re, disproportionation reactions uh, uh, like these type of oxides. So now one of the copper plus one it gains like uh, it loses the electron. And it forms the copper plus two. Now again, another copper plus two will gains the electron, and it forms the copper plus one. Okay. Now here plus two plus two will be cancelled. So now here the gaining of electron electron also cancelled. So copper plus one. And, uh, don't go for that. So here copper plus one will gain will lose the electron, and it forms the copper plus two. Again, another mole of copper plus one will gain the electron. Will gain the electron, and it forms the copper metal. Okay. Here it is the reaction. So two moles of copper plus one. Here it gives the copper plus two and copper. Okay, this is very easier things, guys. Now, so I'll give you one of the example. So that is the fifth example. You can write the this type of off cell reaction. That is the H2. Simply here HCl in H2 gas. So these these type of gaseous electrode will maintained by the like a. Inert electrodes. That means uh, electrodes which cannot involve in the our electrochemical reaction. Then it is called inert electrode. So wherever the electrolytes which cannot involve in the our electrochemical reaction, those electrolytes are called as inert electrolytes. Okay. So this is the your example. Uh, so I didn't uh, solve it here. Okay. So if you solve the example, uh, please make it uh, and write the uh, those uh, anodic oxide and cathodic oxide reactions by the similar way. Okay. That's all for this video. This is the very useful concept of the electrochemical chemi electrochemical cells. Okay, I think it is very helpful for the uh, very helpful for the those competitive examiners. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching.